so peaceful. I'm walking down a nice coom lane now. Calm down a bit. I'm trying to get cool again, like I was. This is beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful weather. Um, and I'm walking down an English country lane when there's terrible things happening in the world. For example, it's been reported that the Israelis shot about 500 civilians dead and thousands more injured. What they call was rioting. They feel they've always had the power to do that. Whereas they keep those people repressed, trapped. No wonder they rebel against them. It's, all, it's all well known for that. They wonder, they, these Israeli Jewish people, they worry about what happened to them, but they're as bad, in my eyes. They're persecuting other, other ethnic people as well. They've learnt nothing from them, that so-called Holocaust. Nothing at all. They've turned into their persecutors. And I'm going, I don't care what I say. This is true. That's how we feel. And I feel this. I'm walking through this beautiful countryside and there's people being murdered. This is how the other half live in our country. When there's people dying on the streets and freezing in the winter and starving. But you can't blame these people that live like this because they have got, they've managed to make it. They managed to get the jobs, maybe they had opportunities. Not everyone has opportunities, you see. Not everyone is born into privilege. Some people do make it and work their way up. And I think that was probably more possible 20, 30 years ago than it is now. I don't know really. I don't really know about that, but basically all I know is that we don't share enough power, control, property, is still the same. But I shouldn't be talking that on this beautiful, lovely day, but there's sometimes those are the thoughts that enter one's head with the contradiction of life. You've got all this beauty here. Let me just zoom in. There are cows up there, by the way. They tend to be friendly, though, the ones that have got the freedom. So this, to me, when I come here, I love it. It's beautiful. It really is. It's idyllic, quintessential English. And I found in my family tree that we had, we were privileged back in time. Lived in big homes mansions, castles even. Now it's our turn to experience other stuff. So we're entering the village of Compton Bishop. The Compton House is back there, it's probably a mansion. There's our St Andrews there. Now what, what I remember is that I I couldn't get through the gate. There's, they've got two gates. I was too fat. I had to walk right round. Oh, that sounds refreshing, doesn't it? A little stream coming off the hills. Lovely. I'm just going to turn off at this point and um, say it is a lovely day. I'm enjoying it. It's just brilliant, you know. But uh, such as human mind, you can't always stop your mind from thinking about other stuff. And I don't see why I shouldn't mention it. Over and out.